friends welcome to magento tutorials in this video we will learn about the layouts layouts are powerful and it is defined with xml code the purpose of this layout layout provides the structure of a web page see uh, any web page uh, it contains like a header section footer left and main content okay so the website is already defined with some structure with the help of uh, some tools here in magento we are using layout with the help of uh, xml that is extensible markup language so to work on layouts you need to learn xml using this xml we will generate and show content whenever is required in the web page for example you can add any content to any place uh, but you have to follow some layout instructions so with the help of this layouts uh, we can move or remove or rearrange the elements from existing position like uh, for example this is the header links for uh, creating a sign in uh, or create an account so you can move that to different uh, different location here at any place okay you can do that with the help of layouts so basically in the main content you can add uh, static content forms product listing subcategory listing and in the footer you can find the static page links newsletter sign up and uh, copyright information you see here layout is useful for add or change the structure of a page for example this is a magento web page so you see we have different sections like header footer main content uh, for example uh, this is a sign in so client wants to change this position to somewhere else okay after this header or uh, at the footer section so you can change that with the help of the layouts okay so you can also change the positions of this logo catalog search and uh, mini card okay you can add it anywhere you can remove any element with the help of this layout so if you are created with uh, the section with the layout you can uh, remove that element easily for example if you want to change this position uh, or if you want to remove it you can do that with the help of uh, layouts and you can change any section at any point of time but you need to follow some layout instructions so you see here these are the layout instructions where it helps to update uh, the web page layout so you have to understand each block what is a block what is a container uh, why we are using this okay now let's discuss about this block inside the layout xml see, there are few points need to remember block is a piece of code or information in a page blocks are fundamentals for layouts this is the first building block uh, for creating any layouts also, it helps to link PHP classes along with PHTML. Blocks can contain childs or nested childs. Blocks use templates to generate HTML. So I will relate all these points with this single example. So this is how you can declare the block uh, inside the layout XML. If you want to declare this block class, you need to consider a few attributes like uh, class name as template. Okay, so instead of this block class, we need to add some php class here so on the next one is name a uh, name where you will put uh, some name here okay for this block so as acts like a identifier here for this block okay now the template here uh, you'll see this magento catalog product list.phtml so what we are doing we are just uh, uh, just calling this phtml with the help of this block class so what is the use of this template okay right now uh, we are just using this template with the help of this block class we are uh, just adding some content and showing to the customer this is how you can declare a block inside uh, the layout xml okay now coming to the containers so what it will do instead of this layout so there are few points need to remember about this container container is just like a box that have empty contents or something inside of it okay containers can modify the html content containers can have single block or nested blocks like this so what is this container so you see here in this image you'll see container name html tag html class what is all about this so name is a identifier to identify this container so this html tag where you will provide the html tags here either dev uh, any other attributes okay in the html class you will provide this class name okay like this you can create a container so instead of this container we will put some blocks here you will see there are multiple blocks so you can declare this uh, single blocks like this or you can put a nested blocks this is all about the container and how you can declare the containers here now the next one is before and after attributes in layout xml so what it will do 
to position the elements in a specific order okay or uh, to control the order of the elements for example consider this image we have multiple containers if this page dot top container should be after the header dot container so how you can change that you can change with this after attribute okay so you have to provide the value for this after what is the value whatever the container name you have added here that you have to place it here okay you can change that before or after based on your requirement okay so like this you can rearrange or uh, you can uh, control the order of the elements now coming to this action part action part is actually deprecated to declare that in the block uh, in a layout xml so what it will do in general this action method we will declare one method name here and we are passing that method uh, to this class with the help of this argument okay you just for example you want to create one function you can create in this layout xml okay with the help of this action method okay so you can create uh, any number of uh, methods here in, inside of this layout now coming to this reference block and reference container what it will do it will remove the block from the layout okay so how you can remove that block from the layout you see here this way you can remove that block you just mention that remove equal to true and uh, reference block name equal to whatever the name you have given for this particular block okay this way you can remove that block so coming to the reference container it's just hide or uh, show the information uh, about these blocks okay is uh, for example if you want to hide uh, all these blocks so you can put the display equal to false here coming to this move what this move will do in the layout xml it will change the position of the blocks okay so how you can declare the move you so you see here this way you can declare the move tag so for example if you want to move the element in a page how you can do that using this move destination is the place where you want to put the element okay as is just an alias for this element now coming to this after and before uh, in this move element we can add both after and before so i want to move this element inside of the content the content will be after the header and before the footer you you will provide this header and here you will provide the footer element so that it will add uh, between the header and footer okay this is how it will work so remove tag what it will do it will remove any css or js files uh, which we added in the header section okay for example i want to create a new page so i need a header i need footer and also i need this customer account section okay i don't want this main content uh, it will change according to my requirement what i will do i will add this in the layout xml so that you will get the header footer along with this customer section okay so this way you can add the update handle in the layout xml this is how it works in the next video we will discuss about how to create a xml file uh, from the code side thanks for watching